welcome to my home. This is the beginning of our Coast to Coast virtual recital tour for Opera Nuova. We're so sad that we're unable to be with you in our home at King's University or at Festival Place this year. But instead, we have gathered many of our faculty members and many of our alumni and students who will be with us next year for the, our postponed festival to share with you the delight of their beautiful voices and to that, have their opportunity to work with our stunning collaborative pianists. So today, I welcome you to our house where normally you'll see in my backyard is a beautiful swimming pool and the festival normally ends here with a big party for all of the singing artists and pianists. And I stand on the diving board with everyone in a circle around the pool and we do a final champagne toast to end the season. So it's a little bit ironic that this year we are going to begin the season here and end in Montreal um, on July the 5th, hopefully, is I think as long as everything goes okay and Montreal opens its doors at Michael McMahon's house. So with me is Brian Diedrich, who so many of you know, and um, Brian, your turn to say a few words to welcome this audience to tonight's performance. I'm just so happy to be here. This is so different. You all know we're in strange and gobsmacking times right now, and today we get to see Opera Nuova in a whole different way this year. So I'm just happy to be here because I get to hear some music. <laughs> and Connor and Shannon are awaiting us in the next room. Connor uh, has just graduated uh, from the Bachelor of Music program under the tutelage of John Tessier. And he is moving on to UBC to begin his master's in the fall. But he, of course, would have been able to do his final graduating recital. And so tonight, we actually get to share with him and listen to this beautiful concert of music that he prepared to celebrate his final year at the university. And he would have been playing the role of Aeneas in Dido and Aeneas, as well as Thomas Putnam in The Crucible. So we will await those performances for an entire year. Um, but for tonight, you'll get to see why he was chosen because he's a glorious talent. So come with us, take a moment here first and pour yourself something to drink and come into our living room and, and invite you to sit back and enjoy the concert and then join us afterwards for our virtual reception. All right, off we go, cheers. cheers. Through my dining room, it's a whole new experience. We've had to kind of set up the room a little bit differently because of the fact that we wanted to honor the health rules, the health authorities saying that everyone needed to be at a socially acceptable distance. So Connor, we will give you some space. Fra le belle 
Rossini's opera, Cenerentola. Danini gets to make a mess of the whole scene, masquerading as the prince, so it's a lively enough song to start off this virtual recital. The next few songs I'll be singing explore the theme of love unspoken. In To Lisby Brown by Gerald Finzi displays just that, love not being spoken and the girl went away. You never got the chance. In the next songs afterward, Mahler's Songs of the Wayfarer, we explore a very common theme in German lead. A man loves a woman, he never says anything, the woman marries someone else, everyone dies, and no one is happy. Hope you enjoy. Where are you now? He 
We continue on with another song from Gerald Finzi, from the exact same cycle as To Lisby Brown. The Clock of the Years tells a story of a phantom telling you he could bring anyone back for you. If you agree, it's not on your terms, though. We'll then continue with a song from one of my favorite operas, Giuseppe Verdi's Falstaff. A sogno o realtà is the story of of Ford finding out his wife plans to be unfaithful. And you see the cogs turn in his mind of deceit and anger all throughout the course of one song. Hope you enjoy. A spirit passed before my face. The hair of my flesh stood up. And the spirit said, I can make the clock of the years go backward. But am loath to stop it where you will. And I cried, agree to that, proceed. It's better than dead. He answered peace and called her up as last.
pieces of baritone repertoire from one of my favorite composers of all time. From Mozart's Le Noce di Figaro, this is I Gevinta la Causa, Vedro Mentre Io Sospiro. The Count has just found out that his servants are plotting against him. He's upset, and he has a little bit of a hissy fit. This is that. <laughs> I Gevinta la Causa. Cosa sento? In quella ciocca dea Perfidi, io voglio, io voglio di tal modo punirvi A piacer mio la sentenza sarà La vecchia pretendente Pagarla in quel maniera E poi ve Antonio Che all'incognito figaro ricusa Di dare una nipote in matrimonio <ride> Coltivando l'orgoglio Di questo mentecato Il colpo è fatto Oh, 
ABC cycle called Trois Ballades de François Villon. We will be doing the second and third song. The second song was written for François Villon's mother and is a prayer to Mother Teresa. And the second one is more celebrating the finer things in life, mainly women. <laughs> Sweet pauvre, t'es assis, elle 
circumstances that we're all in. So I hope that I hope that these type of opportunities keep coming or I'll cherish the small ones we get along the way. As may have been mentioned earlier, I have finished my degree at the University of Alberta and will be going to the University of British Columbia to study with Patrick Raftery in pursuit of my master's degree. So this might be one of the last times I perform inside of Alberta. So it's really awesome to get to do this. I'd also like to thank kind of goes without saying, Opera Nuova for putting on the full virtual concert series. It's, again, really incredible just to have places to perform. Last but not least, I would like to thank my amazing pianist, Shannon Hebert, for, keeping up with this, for always keeping up with this amazingly, amazing music. Amazingly amazing. <laughs> I'm good at adjectives. Last but not least, I'd like to give a huge thank you to my partner, Leah, for always pushing me to be the best I can. The last song we're going to perform today is a bit of a standard in the classical musical world. It is the Largo al Factotum from Rossini's <laughs> The Barber of Seville. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. 
piacere per un barbiere di qualità, di qualità. with us and for launching the coast to coast virtual recital tour it was fabulous having you congrats thank congratulations. you cheers oh. cheers cheers german eyes german eyes <laughs> german eyes yes. good cheers everyone thank you for joining us this afternoon and we look forward to having many of you with us on our zoom virtual reception after this thanks so much <laughs>